Hey, what's up guys? How we doing? Uh, so I was looking on YouTube and I came across this video. It is uh, Barcelona, one of the best soccer teams in the world. Um, and it's before a game and they're playing this, this game. I believe they call it Rondo. Um, or on the video, I think it says Tika Taka or something like that. I'm not a... a I don't know a ton about soccer, um, and if you do, maybe you can let me know. But either way, it's a game that they play where they basically get around in a circle, they put two players in the middle, and it's basically keep the ball away from those two players um, in the middle. Now, the cool thing about it is, although it's a game and it's fun, and you'll see in a second how much fun the players are having, they're actually working on a lot of the key skills that they use in the game. So it's a fun little game that they play, but they're working on skills like improving their footwork and decision making and anticipating where they want to go with the ball. Um, all things that are going to directly relate to plays in the game and it's going to make them better players. So let's take a look at it real quick and then let's talk about how it can relate to baseball. And as you watch this, you really get an appreciation for how good these guys are with their footwork. And one of the reasons why they're some of the best players in the world. The other thing to keep in mind is, although again it's a game, they're basically going full speed. This is like 100% um, game-like intensity. So they're having fun, but they're getting in really good quality work. And they probably, you know, you don't even realize you're getting it in because the game is really fun. And if I had the volume up, you can see everyone's really laughing and having a good time. And there's actually a lot of people in the stands that have come down early to watch them play. Apparently, this is a really well-known thing that, that they do. Um, so I'll play it again just so you can keep watching. But how can you relate this? to baseball. Well, there's a lot of things that you can do. Um, and if you think back to when you were a kid, you probably did them a lot more. Um, if you're an older player now, you probably don't do them as much because, you know, when you're a kid, these games, they're fun, they're cool to do, and, and you think nothing of them. But as you get older, sometimes players get too cool for school and they don't want to play these games anymore. But if you think back, um, you know, we used to play a game when I was younger called Flip. And uh, you get a ball and everyone would get their gloves and you'd have to tip the ball to each other and you try to get other guys on your team out and it would work on hand-eye coordination and uh hold on one second let me put this back again hand-eye coordination and um glove skills uh deflecting the ball just getting a feel for the ball and your glove um also if you think about pepper you know pepper's kind of not in style as much now as it was back in the day actually if you go back um Major league players used to play pepper all the time back in the day during spring training and even during the season. That's something that's kind of completely gone out of the game. Um, but actually, of one year when I was with the Padres, we actually put it into our minor league program where we had to play pepper before every um, spring training day. And it's a game, again, where it's fun, but you're able to work on a lot of key skills that directly relate to the game. As a batter, you get to work on hand-eye coordination. As a fielder, you get to work on fielding the ball. Um, so there's a lot of things that you can work on and you can make it fun. You don't have to, when it comes to practice, it doesn't have to just be a team, uh, you know, infield, outfield, or batting practice, or team ground balls or anything like that. You can make up games like this and get a lot of quality work in where you're improving as a player and you don't even realize it because it's just fun. So make stuff up, use the game flip, play pepper. Um, you know, if you have a wall, back when we were kids, we used to bounce a ball off the wall, you'd have to feel it. If you missed it, you had to run to the wall. I actually forget what we used to call it. Um, but there's all kinds of games that you can make up and players are always asking me, you know, they're always saying, Matt, what do I do if there's only a few of us? You know, we don't have, a, I don't play on a team. How do I get better at baseball? Well, you can do stuff like this and just, Create your own games in baseball that are going to help build key skills that you'll use in the game. And you're going to get better at baseball without even really realizing it. Um, so let me know what you think. If you have any cool ideas of games that you can play and take this concept and play it and, and use it with baseball, let me know. Um, subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Share it with your friends. Uh, comment in the section below. All that good stuff. And uh, we'll talk to you later.